Rome. We'll roam over to Rome. Sounds good. <laughs> I love Rome. I'll start, start making plans. All right. Mm -hmm. We're tailing again. All right, so we have 10 minutes. <laughs> I don't know who we paid to get this. <laughs> Well, we get this. We get the yeah, I know. They get their full name. No, I'm just saying talent is... <laughs> if you look at my resume, that may be a little... It may be a little uh, excessive. <laughs> yeah, so on that note... <laughs> how is it different filming the movie as opposed to the series? Um, Longer hours. Yeah, that you... When filming at night, you're actually filming at night instead of being on a soundstage where they can just turn down the lights and... It's not even dark. And also, there's, instead of like four ca cameras, we usually just have one. Yeah. Movie, which really changed it, which made like doing one scene a day compared to doing like an episode a day. I'll tell you though, the biggest, the biggest change is uh, the greatest thing about sitcoms, which I think are the greatest job on the planet, is that you uh, get to perform in front of a live audience. Yeah. And so there is a uh, there there is uh, an amazing thing that happens when you discover what works and what doesn't in the moment, and you have the ability to fix it, or you have the ability to play off it, or you have the ability to build on it or take away. And uh, I'm not I'm not saying that 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 you know one camera is terrible, but there is. <sighs> you know there there was sort of an element that we had all gotten used to together as a family of playing for an audience and having that energy sort of feed what we do and then that was an energy that we had to create more amongst ourselves when we got in front of one camera. And it was also really different because in when we're filming Good Luck Charlie, we if you're not in the scene together, you will still see the person like that day, but if you're filming the movie and you're not filming together, you don't see the person. You don't see them like if you don't have any scenes with them, you don't see them. You only see them like back in the hotel for just a couple minutes or so. So that was really different because we've really that was like our yeah, it's it's like uh, if family. you don't like each other, that's fabulous because <laughs> then you can go hide. But we all genuinely like each other, and so uh, the the only the only downside was that. Uh, as we were shooting, it just kind of felt like the family was broken up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Um, sweet. Even though we would get together at night, there no, but there's there's like a camaraderie and an energy that yeah. you build up together on set, joking, just sharing stories about the day, and all that feeds into the show that you do. Mm -hmm. And so it's uh, that was that was the one thing that I really missed was that. And every year, you know, they come up with new Christmas movies. But I'm wondering what was something that you guys watched growing up that you still recommend to this day to your fans? How the Grinch Stole Christmas, which well, that, before yeah. before uh, DVDs and, and VHS was a yearly event, even okay. in my college days, was you well, found was out still, when that, that show... Huh? That was still in the 30s. 20s, right? <laughs> but no... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that was you found out you found out the night it was playing because it was only playing one night and we would have parties for that yeah. show we love that show still do speaking of joking around I want to know who's the biggest prankster on set or is there one does one hold the title Bridget oh, yeah. well, prankster remember, Bridget comes up with some pretty Bridget good ideas Bridget does random weird stuff like she tried to um, put honey on his door or like toothpaste or something but he walked up Right as she like started to spread it on the door, and then she stacked trash cans. In yeah, yeah, yeah. They all, yeah. She nailed everybody's dressing room that first season. Yeah, oh. she was like a great way to meet her. Like walking in, and my room is teepeed. So I think there's a there's a there's a yeah. river that runs. There's a river of not evil, but there's a river of something <laughs> that flows just <laughs> under the surface of Bridget Mendler. Yeah. And she'll give you a look occasionally, and you know that somewhere down the line, you are going to, f that, that, that look is going to become a reality somehow, some way, whether it's toothpaste on your door or whether it's... Yeah, she, like, took everybody's trash cans, stole them out of, like, our rooms, and stacked them in a pyramid outside of Jason's door, and then Jason had to take them down. And then the next morning, she did the same thing, but inside his room... So right as he opened the door, it fell. 
So he then had to clean that up. Yeah. It was a smart but really random and weird prank that didn't really make any sense. But gen generally, it's actually, it's sort of us against everybody else, I've noticed. It's like, whether it's raiding the writer's room or the producer's room, yeah. or, uh, or pranks on the set while we're shooting or yeah. any of that it's more so it's it's more yeah it's it's more sort of us and them we do as opposed like, to within ourselves we do fun stuff like while we're filming the show like while we're taping so like we've done like in the middle of the scene we'll just stop and like not talk for a good minute or so or like we'll go into slow motion or like what did we do like we all just fell like we just yeah. dropped to the ground. Oh no, we're going to do that. Going to yeah. Yeah. So you guys I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anybody that. But uh, what else do we do? It, and we've done a lot of stuff, and we it's just fun to hiding mess. things on set and yeah, it's fun to like mess with the audience too. It kind of keeps it like going and kind of be fun. Like towards the middle of the show, we usually do it when there's like a whole family scene. And once the like the audience kind of gets like, oh, I'm kind of tired, the show's kind of been going on now, we'll try to do something fun, like have somebody just randomly walk by in the scene or like somebody just drop down to the ground or something like that, just to keep the audience going. All right, so I've heard the paintball story from Bradley, but mm -hmm. apparently he got you in the neck and gave you a welt. Oh, oh no, 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 that was, that was Jason. Jason. No, he just shot me in the back. <laughs> Don't ever have Bradley on your team playing paintball. I didn't shoot him in the back. It wasn't even my color paintball. It was like he was jumping he around like a scared this. hamster behind me because Jason was getting down on me and he let me have it in the back three or four times. Okay. Yeah, that was a good one. It's a friendly he's actually, fire. He's a really good uh, shield. He just, like, I'm an amazing shield. At six foot three, two hundred and fifty pounds, all I can be in that game is a shield. So like, I'll just like stand behind him, and the right as he gets shot, you can hear him. He goes, "Ow!" And then you just sneak out. But Jason, Jason is an assassin. Yeah. Jason is an assassin, and they should make video games about Jason because, <laughs> actually, that would be fantastic. We should do that. There's the million dollar idea. <laughs> Again, don't tell anybody. <laughs> Jason for the Wii. <laughs> yeah. I love that idea. And it comes with a little gun. But he is. Jason's amazing. He's agile. He's he's he's. Fast. He's smart. He's small. He's, he's thinking. He's always thinking two moves ahead of you. He's like. He's, he's just. He he's a good jumper too, so he'll like jump over stuff and like start shooting you. Yeah, and he's skinny like this post, so he's impossible to hit on the run. Yeah, you're. It's physically impossible when he's like. If he is shooting you, then he turns to shoot somebody else. It's like don't even try. You can't hit him. I there was this one time he was on my team and I thought he wasn't. On my team, I, it was just he was in all black, and there were two guys that were actually in all black. So I started like trying to shoot at him, and I don't have bad aim, and like I'm shooting at him, and I even had a scope, and it wouldn't hit him. He <laughs> yeah. just like hit, like goes right by him. I think it like it's like from a cartoon. It just like goes right around him, right as it. Jason is like the Matrix. <laughs> 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 Now, going back to the actual Christmas movie, it, was there a scene for you guys that was there, like the quintessential had to be in there scene that you think the fans are just going to really love? Bradley? I, I really like the paintball scene. I really, right really like the paintball scene. <laughs> filming the paintball scene. No, filming the paintball scene was a blast. It's not Christmas, necessarily. No. Yeah, there's no uh, a quintessential Christmas scene. I don't know if it's... Well, I mean, it all, <laughs> it all sort of caps off with, with, with Mia sort of finally putting the, 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 the star on the tree. and, oh. um, and well, I, think it, I think it comes back to a very Christmassy place. Um, that was a cool scene to film, too, because there was also a helicopter in it. So, like, you just watch the helicopter go up and the helicopter go down. And when you think Christmas, you think helicopter. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Toy helicopter. You know, it all, it all comes back to a very Christmassy, very sort of homey place at the end. But, you know. But, the but getting there. The no, most paintball, fun was a, paintball was a blast. Well, because it was... It when, was it wasn't, when the wind wasn't blowing. <laughs> oh, my God. It was like, we were up in these mountains in St. George. Yeah, the tortoise reserve. Yeah, actually. tortoise reserve. And it's like, 
full on, I thought I was fighting the desert storm. It was like, <laughs> it, the wind was just like blowing in your face and the dirt was coming up. And ironically, I was the only one in the scene that had to have my mask up. These, those two. Mm, that's not true. No, because we, no, we had lunch with the other guys. We had, that's why I was eating sand for the rest <laughs> of the day. But it was like, just, it would cascade over your face. It was terrible. And like you the showers that night were amazing. Yeah. <laughs> you would be like cleaning it out of your. It was, like for like three days. <laughs> it was like a magic trick. It was like a magic trick. All the dirt coming off your body. Like, you didn't think it could carry it was that much. Literally stained around the drain. Yeah, of it was red. Like a red rock too. It was yeah. all that real. There was yeah. rocks like it would just like slip out of you. It was nasty. Nothing says Christmas like paintball. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Paintball and helicopters. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Paintball and helicopters. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you.